weekly options or just your day trading in general. Nail the daily chart, you'll nail your analysis. That doesn't mean that you bought puts today. Hello, my name is Jeremy. I didn't buy puts on Apple today. But what it could mean is that you definitely didn't buy calls. Which, hello, my name is Jeremy. I didn't buy calls on Apple today. It, it goes both ways. I didn't lose any money on Apple. Um, Meta, I mean, react a little bit, but not very much. Big picture, I would really, really like Meta to, to do this. But depending on how we open tomorrow, we could have a small little tech correction, and I would like that a lot. The big tip, I think all of you know this, but one of the reasons why, and I'm not telling you this to sell myself, I love selling my you know services to people who love them, but the truth is, if you ever do a live class with me, I'm always gonna do my absolute best to make sure that that live class pays you to take it live. So tomorrow, there's a lot of tech stocks that are very, very far away from their 10. Meta being one of them. If Meta opens below the low of today's candle, I will be looking to buy something that rhymes with weekly put options. <laughs> and I will look to day trade that short to capture, you know, a few thousand or a few hundred bucks. So I can tell you all that now. If Meta is opening below the low of the day, that's what I'm going to do. Fair? Because I think Meta is going to have a little bit of, you know, freak out um, with the whole VR thing. Meta, I watched Meta for a day trade yesterday and uh, didn't get one. Same thing today. Two really nice shooting stars at a 52 week high. And I think this is like a two year high. So like whatever that is, 150, 104 weeks. I do want to buy a dip on Meta. I will buy the dip on Meta. I got trades ready to go on this ticker to buy the pullback. Watch this one very closely to see if it opens below the lows of these last two candles. If it can do that, that will be very bearish and you would have to play that bearish down into probably 250. All right, everyone. And this was the trade on Meta today. So we started planning it on Monday in the Day Trading Weekly Options. Cal asked, talked about it again on Tuesday. You had these back-to-back -back shooting star candles and obviously we did not open below the low, but we took out the low. And we all know how to trade shooting star candles, which is, you know, wait for the lows to get taken out. Both of these shooting star candles are perfect since they have lower shadows. I mean, this is like a nine and a half out of 10. This is a 9.999 out of 10. Both of these together, 10 out of 10. So when Meta takes out the low of both of those days, which is gonna be represented by the purple line, this was the trade that I placed. And again, obviously uh, I could have held for more, but it's never about how much I could have held for. It's about what did I capture. And uh, I'll, I waited for it to take out the low of the day, uh, the low of the prior day with my favorite pattern, which is a descending triangle. Four bear candles in a row closed below the prior low of day. After that fourth bear candle came in, I did a limit sell at 269.45, stop at 270.92, which is above this pivot. And target, uh, I did was able to stretch it for 1.5 hours because I missed my 1.2 by a couple of cents here. So I lowered it down, hit 1.5, and that was it. Now what's fantastic about this analysis team is this was one that I've been preparing since Monday, waiting for that low of the day to either get taken out by a move or a gap. And this was a very, very profitable trade. I hope this helps you all understand how you can pre-plan your day trades in advance using the daily chart. Thanks so much for watching this video, you rock.